All right, so we're checking out the only game where you can rule the world with alcoholism. It's Rise of Industry. New scenario, damn it. Scenario name. I love vodka. So there's a lot of ways to play Rise of Industry, but when I found out that one of the stores that you can eventually have is a liquor store, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. Your map name goes here. Vodka. California. Okay, first things first. We need to find the town where the most potential alcoholics would be in. Uh, yeah. What is this? <laughs> the name of this town is Ideal. <laughs> this is the ideal town for drunk people. Uh? Excelsior. My God. Excelsior it is. How could I not choose this? Okay, so we need to bring liquor stores to all the world. A little bit harder than it sounds because first we have to sell stuff that isn't as impressive as alcohol. What kind of stuff does Ridley Park want? Ooh, potatoes. You do need that for vodka. Hops, you don't say. Wheat for ideal. Sure. I also just noticed that I picked like the smallest, suckiest town here. Our name's Excelsior though. We're going to be fine. Oh, our own market wants hops too. Hot damn. Destruction of the environment. Go. Recipe book. Vot. Ka. Jesus, I can't. I'm already drunk, apparently. There we go. Potatoes, yeast, and wooden barrels in order to get the sweet water nectar of the gods. Oh, damn. Grain, whiskey, brandy. I might want to make all these. And of course, sweet, delicious beer with hops. You have three free unlocks. Obviously, hops and potatoes and truck depots got plenty of land for farming up in here potatoes they look sad now but they'll be making people happy in the future i appreciate that the pollution has already begun the first thing i need to do is farm and then sell the stuff to myself because that's how that's how vodka capitalism works damn they really need the wood up in this place i'm so good at going bankrupt that i'm just going to sell everything in the beginning more pollution we're kind of like dwarves because we've built into the side of this mountain so that all of our opponents can't attack us. We have to wait until they're good and liquored up. I like how tormenting this game is. You spend a little time in the green and then it's a nice firm ball kick into the red for a bit. More farms, we're gonna be making a lot of vodka. Alcoholism is already ruining lives. Jesus. Gray's reminding you to save often. Ideal, y'all like wheat? You and I are gonna be real good friends. Figures the very first thing I would research in this life is how to get more fields. Sugarcane is going to be the answer to almost every problem in our lands. Oh, and yeast. Water is the life's blood of all things. It's what allows potatoes to turn into vodka. Well, it sort of does. I mean, realistically, all it really does is it allows us to water the crops that create the potatoes that will then turn into vodka. God powers. Activate. With more water comes more farms. Hey, ideal, you're welcome. Upkeep of all buildings reduced by 55%. You gotta be kidding me. People better see this name Vodka for Life and just not bid. I'm gonna be pissed if someone else wins this. Yay. Leave it to freaking Gray for his careful planning. All right, sand's going to Ridley. You gotta start somewhere, man. I think we need the sand for glass for wine glasses or something. I don't know. I'm sure it's useful for something I'm probably missing. For right now, I just need it to level people up so that eventually they'll accept vodka. Injured employee? People aren't even freaking drinking yet. I'm producing way too much water. More farms. Bronxville wants sugar. Seems like people I could be friends with. Acquire permit for region. What? Sure. Taking over the world one permit at a time. Finally got the roads done so we're not looking like friggin' heathens. All the better for people to get DUIs on, I guess. <laughs> you know you're efficient when you can just build roads right underneath the truck. Getting closer, man. Grocery store's up now. Oh, hell yes. They're buying yeast. The only one we need. Brewery and distillery. Getting closer to the liquor. Might as well go straight into vodka for the queue. I kind of want to do beer too, because it's beer. It's actually kind of sad that this is a game where I legitimately have to do something about pollution because it makes the beer taste bad. Could it be? Grace putting down another friggin' fi hops farm. Ideal's getting bigger, baby. One step closer to more liquor stores. Orange juice? You don't say. I only need two things to survive in this world. Water and all the crops that make the alcohol. At this point, I might as well just open up all this. Oh my God, I had no freaking clue how long it took to research vodka. I probably should have looked at the number before I started this. All my money goes into destroying the once great mountains of Excelsior. Bad PR for yeast. How the hell did yeast get bad PR? What is it, giving people friggin' mad cow disease or something? I'm starting to get my farms and plantations at all the other cities now because we've bought almost all the cities. So, like I said, hopefully everyone's gonna be able to have 
a delicious liquor store. A new <laughs> model for yeast is coming out. <laughs> it's like the brand new Tesla or something like that. Yeast Model X. This yeast is guaranteed to screw you up even more than the last yeast. This is the most realistic string of bad luck I think I've ever had. Bad maintenance to injured employee. I get a lot of injured employees. That moment when you're innovating potatoes. I'm speechless. Oh yeah. I have been producing freaking potatoes out the ass. All the breweries, damn it. I'm gonna put down a warehouse legitimately just for vodka. Oh yeah, we had a couple liquor stores rolling up in here. And there's only one way for people to get their liquor delivered. <laughs> Via Zeppelin, baby. <laughs> oh my god. They're paying 97k per chunk of friggin' vodka over at Mill Creek. It's glorious. Everything's getting swapped over to potatoes and sugarcane, baby. We're only making vodka now. Potatoes. 99 chunks of vodka. This is the level of vodka we're producing right now. Weird problem to have. I've got so many potatoes I can't even make the vodka fast enough. Oh yeah, liquor store in our own hometown, baby. <laughs> I love it when I don't have to go very far to get people drunk. God, I'm still full up on potatoes and yeast. I'm clearly not making enough vodka. I'm very curious why across the town from the liquor store, my city decided to build a bookstore. I guess in the end, a liquor store is good no matter where you are because everyone makes poorer decisions when they're drunk. It's an excellent way to get a bunch of people to buy books that they probably don't need. Deliver 16 vodka to Excelsior. I like this quest because it's 10 feet away and I'm gonna do it anyway. Ridley Park. It's been so long. What the hell? It's been so long. I'll just pay for the bricks, man. I got plenty of money. I don't even care. More liquor stores. The liquor stores are slowly beginning to touch down all across the world. With this much demand for liquor stores, more breweries. It's been a long time coming. The Bronx is finally gonna get their liquor store, which means even more vodka going out. Now, I can't even tell you how much vodka I've sold at this point. I'm so inefficient that I'm not making a ton of money and I really don't care. I just want everyone to get drunk. Oh my God, I have a lot of vodka sitting around. Well, Bronx, it's all yours, buddy. The people of Tata are sad and depressed. Why? Because they don't have a liquor store. But now that the liquor store is here, it's like the 4th of July. Except everyone's gonna be hitting each other with the fireworks because they're all gonna be freaking blasted. There's only one place left that is without a liquor store, and that is Renton. And I can't stand the pain that they're in for too much longer. So I think I think we're almost there. They're at like 484,000 people. And I think at 500,000, they will finally get what's coming to them. I never thought I'd have so many friggin' potatoes. Oh my God, we're getting $2.45 million a pulse now. I totally forgot about Ideal. How could I forget? I can't believe I didn't give Ideal a liquor store. Everyone wants vodka nowadays. All the contracts are vodka related. What do you know? 17 vodka to Dove Creek. Y'all, y'all really gonna try and outbid me? Is this, is this the thing? Thank you. I asked Renton the one thing that all the townspeople were missing and they said alcoholism. So there we go. Pay it, make it, good to go. And that is everyone all across the world. Factories churn out vodka and yeast. I do make some yeast as well, but mostly vodka. Smog rules the entire universe. Not too much though, just enough to get people a little sick. Sick so that they can only feel better by drinking vodka. And no matter where you go in the world, every single city has a liquor store. Could you ask for, for any better land? You wanna know why this, this city is built so jacked up? Because everyone is drunk all the time. See this road? Why does it end here like this? Drunkenness, it's alcoholism. Okay. So now that everyone drinks liquor, because everyone has a liquor store, it's time to legitimately build Vodka Land. Vodka Land is gonna be a lot like Disneyland, except everyone's gonna be a lot more intoxicated and abusive. So kind of more like Universal Studios. Honestly, that means I'm just gonna demolish a ton of stuff because all this is like a weird cancerous growth. It's not really gonna look any better. It's just gonna be a little bit easier for me to take stock of what the hell we have. I can only imagine how many lives and jobs I'm snuffing out right now. Okay, I've decided Vodka Land will be right around here because this looks like two Mickey Mouse ears and a Mickey Mouse head if Mickey Mouse had 
you know, maybe like a shrunken head disease or syndrome or something. It kind of just looks like a runny egg with two ears. Whatever, I'm just gonna race it anyway. Bye, Mickey. Honestly, I don't care about water either. I do what I want. There we go. Right about here is uh, where the, the majority of the town will be centered in. I guess I should have this connecting. I feel like the LOL loses some of its power when it's connected down here. It stands for liquor or loser. I really don't know what the best sequence of vodka buildings is, so I'm gonna try yeast, vodka, vodka, yeast, vodka, vodka. Oh yeah. There's nothing quite like synchronized vodka production. All right, Tontogany, how much you paying for vodka? Oh yeah, that's hot. I'm not gonna lie, part of me wonders <laughs> whether or not the Zeppelin pilot is partaking of any of the supplies. I did this on purpose. Like, there's really no reason to do this. The city is like three miles away. I don't care. I just want to see a, a vodka-fueled Zeppelin fly. Look at how many crates they stacked on this damn thing. There's like three tons of vodka on this thing. Yep, bring it right on down there. <laughs> Be getting no ZUI, baby. See, they don't have to go very far. I made sure to put the warehouse right next to the liquor store. <laughs> all right, hold on. If we're gonna do all Zeppelins all the time, there is no reason for this. <laughs> Man, we got a hell of a little Zeppelin thing going on over here with the vodka. Vodka land is starting to look pretty good. You you probably get lung cancer from all the pollution, but uh, like I said, you know, the liquor is real cheap. So you can just self-medicate yourself that way. You know you're inefficient when you set up a Zeppelin line that's about 600 feet away, but I figured, you know what, what the hell, why not? There, you guys get a Zeppelin field as well. Man, it's starting to look like hammered crap over here. Money powers. Activate. Ideal's missing something pretty important. It's a Zeppelin field. In order to do it though, Old Grey has to do a little bit of friggin' redesigning here because someone decided to put a bunch of mountains next to this place. Oh yeah, fits like a glove. Okay, the vodka is really starting to flow right now. What are we at? Distillery 19? Zeppelins are starting to fly out at all friggin' angles. I can't even imagine how many cra how many Zeppelin crashes we've had at this point. I dare not think about it. We've reached some sort of vodka harmony because pretty much all of the distilleries are working all at once. It's like a well-oiled machine, except the machine gets into a lot of accidents and causes a lot of domestic violence. All right, Ridley Park over here needs a uh, Zeppelin field. God, in retrospect, it's probably like one yeast place to 10 vodka. Behold, look at the traffic that comes and goes from vodka world. The hell's this? 23 beer, we don't drink beer here, it's only vodka. All right, Bronxville's missing a, a Zeppelin line over here, so let's get him one. Bronxville's probably like, no, our population is so efficient and sober, too bad. All right, no one's flying out to Bronxville yet, so we clearly don't have enough Zeppelin. Just making space for a couple more breweries. <laughs> Through the dense smog of sadness, there are tears of joy as everyone partakes in sweet, clear, delicious ambrosia. <laughs> While well, freaking Zeppelins rule the entire <laughs> on the plus side, you know how everyone always says that you're more likely to get involved in a car accident than a plane crash? Well, we've changed that. Uh, you're pretty likely to get involved in a Zeppelin accident at this point. So now we can finally change this. Vodka world. Hold on, Johannesburg is missing a Zeppelin field. Ah, whatever, screw trees. Imagine going down your street in your city and every building is just a brewery or a distillery. And that's it, that's the whole city. There's just nothing else there. That's what we've created. We're making between one and $3 million a pulse. And more than that, I get to watch Zeppelins fly around with a bunch of vodka. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Rise of Industry. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.